wanted to say a few things to everyone. We appreciate you being here. Yes, John. Well, first, well, first of all, oh. yep. yep. everyone all set? Yep. Everyone all set? Definitely want to hear what you have to say. Are you good, Ralph? Yeah. Okay. Whatever well, you are, really. Now let me know. Okay. Everyone ready? Good. All right. Well, uh, first and foremost, you know, I want to apologize to my family and friends for having to endure, you know, all the phone calls and the questions, not knowing. Second of all, I want to apologize to the Cleveland Browns, my fans, and the community for this unfortunate incident and mistake. Uh, I'm truly remorseful. Uh, by no means did I intend or willingly or knowingly take a, a firearm into the airport. Uh, that's not something I would do. I've had a concealed handgun license for several years now out of Michigan. I've owned a weapon for several years, and I've had no incidents up until this point. And uh, really, I'm just truly remorseful. And I, you know, I just really can't put it into words how unfortunate the incident is. And I, you know, again, I'm I'm completely sorry to the community, the Browns, for having to embarrass anybody, you know, with, with the nature of these events. And, and, and that's just not my character. So. And with the travel bag, you were oh, going well, back and forth, uh, and also you know, more of an explanation in, in, into the situation is. You know, I, I have a concealed handgun license. I've been traveling back and forth to Michigan trying to rent my house out to, unfortunately, Corey Williams. You know, the guy got traded. I still own a home out there, so I'm trying to move my home. And I've been traveling back and forth to Detroit. So naturally, I packed my gun, having a, having a concealed handgun license in my bag. And unfortunately, I was just late to the airport, not giving it much thought and not doing my due diligence in searching and making sure that the gun was properly put away or stowed. I threw some toiletries, computer in, and, and I was off to the airport when not I got to it was in there. Oh, by, by any means, not knowing it was in there. Again, I, as I stated, I would never intentionally take a firearm or weapon of any kind of that nature to the airport. Again, because I do have a concealed handgun license and I know the severity of such an offense. So, again, I, I, I did not willingly do that or intentionally make that move. And, I, and I'm just truly remorseful. And Sean, what, some people are asking, why do you feel the need to have a concealed weapons permit to begin with? Uh, well, you know, it's part of the law. I mean, I don't want it to get into like a bunch of different areas. It was important for us, for Sean, to let everyone know that he doesn't think he's above the law or better than anyone else. Sorry, and he's he really is sorry. And I wanted to take these steps. This is not customary when someone's been charged with a crime to come out and hold a press conference. What Sean is saying right now is what he would be saying from now until the end of time about what happened. It's what he told the FBI and the authorities on scene. Under the law, you can agree or disagree with it. People have a right to bear arms and get permits. But that really just shows the good faith in terms of why he had the weapon. He wasn't driving down the street in the motorcycle with, you know, 50 guns in the back. He wasn't in a bar shooting up the place. He was going to the airport, and this was purely inadvertent. He appreciates the severity of it, and he's sorry. And he feels that he owes the Lerner family, the Browns organization, and the community an apology. Uh, and to set the record straight about what happened. And he realizes that we have to go forward with this. Uh, law enforcement did their job, and everyone did their job today, including the city prosecutor's office coming down to file formal charges, and we appreciate that. And other than that, I don't want to get into the, the, you know, the back and the forth and everything. I think you can see that his statements here are genuine. They're not contrived. And he felt that he wanted to say this to make things right. And other than that, you know, I don't, I don't think it's fair to start with why do you think you need a weapon and this and that? It's the law, you know. A lot of people have weapons. Judges, I know, have permits to carry weapons, okay? So ask them. So what's and your next step? Are you going to plead guilty or do you plan to? We're going to plead not guilty and go to court tomorrow, weigh the preliminary hearing, and there will be a discussion with the county prosecutors about resolving the matter step by step. But again, I don't want to get into all that. You've already heard himself acknowledging there's no search and seizure issue. There's no, oh, my girlfriend put it in there. I didn't know it was there. You know, you told you what happened, and we're going to have to deal with it. Pure and simple. Sean, where were you going again? I'm sorry. I was going home. Going home to try to have a good Easter, honestly. Going back to Texas to see my daughter, be with my family for Easter. So. What about the NFL, their strict policy now? for? Uh, well, you know, that's something we have to deal with when, when it comes step about. Step by step. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, you know, when, when, when it's all said and done and laid online, everybody will see, you know, you know, the earnestness in the situation. I, and I understand, the, you know, the severity of the, of the situation. And, you know, hopefully it's dealt with with some kind of consideration and we'll take it step by step. Okay. Are you free to go home at this point or you have to be back here tomorrow? We got court tomorrow morning at 8.30. We're going to plead not guilty, hey, waive the preliminary you. hearing, and then be in discussions with the county prosecutor's office. And that is one charge of carrying concealed Yes, weapon. one charge of carrying concealed weapon. Thousand dollar bond? Thousand dollar, 10 percent bond. Okay. Judge Adrian uh, set the bond. He's the chief judge of uh, municipal court. Meaning that you have to pay the thousand.
No, no, I'm sorry. A thousand dollars, ten percent. So it was like a hundred and fifty dollars and something like that. Victim of crime fees or associated with that. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank <laughs> you.